My name is The Adipose and this is The Simpsons Tapped Out. In this video I'm going to show you how you can get a fast moving and lucrative economy very early on in your playthrough. Let's talk about the brown house in Simpsons Tapped Out. This is a, uh, a, a house which you get very, very early on in the game. In fact, you pick it up at level three. Um, and it's a really, really nice way of getting a lot of income very early on. By a lot of income, I don't mean thousands and thousands, but I do mean hundreds. And I do mean enough to kind of get you started on some of those bigger buildings because every five minutes you will earn six dollars and one XP. So unlike most of the other houses, if I kind of moved to say the purple house which is three hours and the blue house which is eight hours and if we carry on down pink house etc six hours I mean th that's separate play sessions whereas the brown house will give you uh, money and XP several times in one play session let's say you play for 20 minutes that means you're going to be able to um, harvest from your brown house or your brown houses probably three to four or maybe even five times if you just go over that 20 minute barrier 20 20 minute border so what a lot of players have done to give themselves an early advantage and an early regular income is to create a whole stack of brown houses even if you delete them later on you know even if you even if like say three weeks down the line you're then bringing in a lot more money from other things and you get rid of it and that's fine but why not take some of your early money make a bit of investment and build yourself a row of eight 10, maybe even 18 brown houses. They're going to build very quickly, and you're going to get um, in, you're going to get regular and in, and regular feedback and XP and dollars from them. The other nice thing about them is because they've got this kind of like cabin style to them. You can kind of stick them together like I've done here. This wouldn't work with like the wider, say, Simpsons house or. Uh, Flanders house if you kind of stuff shove them in all in together I don't think they would they would work but this kind of cabiny style thing I think you can kind of shove them in together and it, and it looks you know, like lower class housing but you can get money from it so let's imagine let's log into my little game session I come straight to these houses and I go tap 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 I take the money I go over I set myself set him crusty on a mission I set uh, Cletus on a mission blah 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 do a whole load of stuff come back and I tap again tap 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 then I go over here and I add some decorations all that kind of stuff by that time I come back here and tap 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 um, um, and it is a really nice way of just incrementing, gaining XP and money really uh, successfully. So don't forget the brown house in your uh, in your in your little mini Springfields. Thanks for watching. If you found this tip useful, please give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.